Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Do You Know Me by Anne Rockwell. Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Do You Know Me? Yellow and green, I, ha I wave to the breeze to say that spring is here. There's the bumblebee. And this is I am a daffodil. Butterfly, butterfly, do you know me? Here I stand, tall and straight, while my silky cup catches rain. I am a tulip. June bug, June bug, do you know me? My leaves point like swords and my petals wave like flags. So there it says, I am an iris. Cricket, cricket, do you know me? Watch my, watch me pop open, see my tiny black seeds. I am a poppy. Ladybug, ladybug, do you know me? My thorns are prickly, but my blossoms are soft. I am a rose. Spider, spider, do you know me? We come in many colors and we turn our faces to the summer sun. We are zinnias. Leafhopper, leafhopper, do you know me? You'll find me at breakfast when my trumpet greets the day. I am morning glory. Dragonfly, dragonfly, do you know me? I'm curly and speckled. My smell is the sweetest of all. I am a lily. Catadid, catadid, do you know me? Try and count my petals if you can. I am a daisy. Little, bu little boy, little boy, do you know me? My fuzzy stem grows taller than you. I am big and round and golden. And that is a sunflower. Of course I know you, sunflower. I know all the flowers I see. So there's all the flowers that the insects saw. Our craft today is going to be a craft to make our own insect or bug. So these are some examples that I have. So we're just going to use a regular plastic spoon and we're going to make some little insects or bugs. So these are some of mine that I made. And when I'm done with them, I'm going to slip them into a leaf like this so that it looks like it's on a leaf of a flower. So uh, the first thing I did is I took my plastic spoon and I painted a base coat on it. So this base coat is the green paint that I have here. And so it takes a couple minutes to dry. So once you've done a coat, you need to put it on quite thick and then you need to give it a couple minutes to dry. And so I'm using the acrylic craft paints. Um, I find that it doesn't work well with the washable uh, poster paints or the washable paints. They just seem to slide off of the plastic spoon. So if you use the acrylics, the other option is that you could cover your um, spoon with some glue and let the glue dry on there and then paint on the glue and then this paint will stick to the glue instead. So if you find that the paint's not sticking to the glue, you can or to the spoon, you can try the glue or you can use the acrylic craft paint. So you can get that at most dollar stores or craft places for fairly cheap. So once I've done that, I'm going to take some additional colors and I'm going to add some uh, decoration to create my insect. So if you look back in the book, there was lots of different things. There was ladybugs, and there was grasshoppers, and there was catadids. So you can use your book or your imagination to try to make some different decorations or colors on your Once that's dry, like mine is, I'm just going to use the back of my paintbrush. So instead of using uh, this part, I'm going to use the back and I'm just going to dip that into my paint and I'm going to dot some paint on my spoon. 
So you can decide ahead of time what kind of what kind of um, pattern you want to do. So I'm just kind of kind of do some dots, and I'm going to kind of try to make it form it so that it looks like wings a little bit. So I'm going to do that around there. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and switch colors so you can do something different. So if you have a nice thin liner brush, you can use another color and you can make some lines. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get some of this green on there and I'm going to make some eyes on the front of there. So you need a nice thick blob on the end of your brush order to get those eyes on there. So there. And as you go, you're going to have to let everything dry. And then in addition, if you don't have a liner brush, you can take the end of your brush and you can also do some lines with that. So if you have a nice tip on there, you can do some lines on there as well. So if you look into your story, you can look at the cricket or the caddy did or the butterfly or the ladybug and you can make some lines or you can just create your own pattern on there. So once you have those done, you have your spoons painted, you need to let those dry for a little while. So I have some painted spoons here and I'm just going to go ahead and cut out a leaf. So I just have the outline of a leaf, so you can also have them so that they're sitting in a flower, like in the story, but in this craft, they're sitting in a leaf. So I just have the three sort of points on this leaf. I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to take the tip of my scissors and I'm going to poke a small hole in there. So just a small one, not too big. Just large enough so that you can work the tip of your spoon in there. Hold that down. And then that is going to be your insect on a leaf craft.